Alberta has taken a nearly unprecedented step amid fears of severe drought, entering into water sharing negotiations with its largest water license holders. So how exactly does Alberta's water license system work? It's called first in time, first in right. Alberta's system was adopted out of the United States and dates back to the end of the 19th century. More settlers were coming to the region and the need for an irrigation system was becoming apparent if they were going to work farmland away from the region's waterways. So control of water was given to the government and settlers could apply for the right to divert a defined volume of surface or groundwater for their own use, with seniority based on the date the license was issued. But now there are 25,000 license holders in Alberta licensing 9.5 billion cubic meters of water for everything from lawn watering to snow making. The senior water holders get a right to 100% of their license before the next water holder, the next most junior water holder gets a right to any of their license. So in the event of a severe water shortage, lower priority license holders could be left high and dry. And despite retaining ownership of water, the province can't unilaterally change license agreements, hence the negotiations. Similar discussions last happened in 2001 when drought left less water than was allocated in the South Saskatchewan River system. This time around, the province wants voluntary agreements in place for each of its sub-basins, the Bow, Old Man and Red Deer River systems, by the end of March. Meanwhile, the province has indicated a willingness to revisit the century-old first-in-time system, which John Pomeroy points out gives no seniority to First Nations. We can come up with something better that works for Alberta, rather than copying the ideas that came out of Colorado in the 1870s.